On a warm Sunday evening in Paris, under the iconic lights of the Olympic Stadium, Noah Lyles became the fastest man alive. But this victory was not just about crossing the finish line in 9.784 seconds, it was about overcoming a lifetime of challenges. Lyles, the newly crowned 100-meter champion, took to social media not to boast, but to inspire. His message was clear, obstacles don't define you. I have asthma, allergies, dyslexia, ad, anxiety, and depression, he revealed on X. But I will tell you that what you have does not define what you can become. Why not you? The race itself was a nail-biter, ending in a photo finish against Jamaica's Kishane Thompson. Lyles edged out his rival by a mere 0 .005 seconds, thanks to a desperate, last-second lean. We were waiting for the names to pop up, Lyles recounted. I even told Thompson, I think you got that one, big dog. But something told me to lean, and I did. It was that kind of race. This victory marks the first time an American has won the 100 meters at the Olympics since Justin Gatlin in 2004. Lyles, however, isn't done yet. He set his sights on the 200 meters, with hopes of adding another gold to his collection on Wednesday. Fred Curley, another American sprinter, claimed the bronze, adding to the USA's medal tally. For Lyles, this victory was more than a race. It was a testament to his belief in himself. I've done worse and I've run faster 60s. Ah, dang. Dang. I'm amazing. That's crazy. That's crazy, he said, almost in disbelief. I thought I was a little better than that. But that goes to prove that reaction times do not win races. In the throes of his post-race celebration, Lyles removed his name tag and held it high for the crowd to see, a symbol of his journey and triumph. He then embraced his girlfriend, Jamaican runner Junelle Bromfield, sharing the moment with someone who understands the grind and glory of track and field. Lyles' story is one of resilience and determination. He has turned his perceived weaknesses into strengths, inspiring a generation to look beyond their limitations. As he stood on that podium, gold medal around his neck, it wasn't just a victory for him, but for everyone who dares to dream big despite their struggles. In the end, Noah Lyles isn't just the world's fastest man. He's a beacon of hope, proving that no obstacle is too great to overcome. His story is a powerful reminder that our challenges don't define us they propel us to greatness.